Hi, and welcome to Dave Barlow Guitar. And in this video, I'm going to bore you to tears with these. This is a tuner. And most people don't think tuners are that important. Um, these type of tuners, they kind of are, really. Um, some tuners are really, really cheap, like this one. Uh, and they work great, by the way. And some tuners are really, really expensive. Um, and really, I kind of wanted to look into the reason why that may be. Now, I haven't got a whole plethora of tuners uh, to show you, but I've got three very good examples of tuners and why one would use that particular tuner or not, as the case may be. And some other very interesting things you may not know. I may just save you a ton of money in this video with tuners. Anyway, so... Uh, let's cut to another video angle and <laughs> let's cut to another video angle where I show you three tuners and I'll walk you through them. Okay, so here we have um, three different tuners. Obviously, um, one that everybody knows, which is the Boss Chromatic tuner. Then there's the uh, uh, the, the Moore Baby tuner, uh, and then there's um, the F Zone. I think uh, it, it depends where you are in the world, you know, this can be called something different, but basically this is another one that's probably made a really, this is a really cheap one that's, uh, you know, this is just a really cheap, cheap version of, you know, a, a chromatic tuner. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe they're trying to model it on a Korg or something like that, I don't know. But anyway, there's two things that um, um, I look for anyway in a tuner. The first thing I look for in a tuner is that um, usually where I'm playing, it's usually a, a dark stage, so anything that's got light on it is is good. So all these are quite good. So uh, when you're tuning, I can show I can only show you two tuners working at a time due to bypass and stuff like that. So if I just turn that off, you can see then these two working. Yeah, switch that on. You'll see these two working. So. Um, so there, there, is there a big difference between this one, this one and this one? Obviously the price difference is massive, um, uh, this being the most expensive one. I'm not going to quote prices because um, it just confuses people. Uh, prices are different in different countries, but basically this is the most expensive one. Then this is kind of like a, a probably nearly half the price of that one. Uh, and this one is actually probably half the price of this one. So. Um, very interesting. I mean, this is like so cheap. Uh, I don't know how they can make it so cheaply, but we shall find out. So, first of all, um, the only way to test them, I suppose, uh, is to do some tuning. But let me tell you a story. I bought this first. This was this was something I used because all guitarists used it, and it does lots of things. You can run it chromatically. Uh, you can run it uh, in like guitar mode, which is here, which tells you the string number or you can run it chromatically by pressing this button here um, and it runs chromatically so it, it gives you the notes rather than the string numbers also you can set it up so it's flat uh, many guitarists tune flat in their bands um, and that allows you to do that as well um, it does other things but you know, basically that's it this one can do the same as this basically it can do the same by changing the pitch or you can hit the flat button um, I find that confusing so I don't bother with that this one is a little bit more um, simplified where basically you switch it on and you tune and you tune uh, chromatically to whatever note you're looking to achieve now as you can see I'm tuning the thing I find with um, this tuner and this tuner is when you're tuning they're very responsive. Right, here's an eight. And they pretty much work together. As you can see as I'm tuning, they pretty much work. This is all very boring stuff, right? I know, it's very boring. But here's the thing, right? If you're playing if you're playing a if you're playing a gig and you're doing a festival on your outdoors and it's the daytime and it's a sunny day, you ain't gonna see this. You can't see the lights. They're not bright enough. You can see this really easily in daylight. 
but you can't see that. So there's a couple of things to bear in mind. Obviously, you might not play outside much, so it won't be such a big deal. So um, there you go. Let's have a look at this other tuner. It's tuned away. Here we go. Let's just take it off the tune a little bit. Here we go. I'm going to tune away. Watch this. You'll notice, you may notice, you may not notice, but this is much quicker at tuning, at giving you a response, than this is. Not by much, but this is just a little bit faster. And when you're playing, and you're in between songs, and you're a little bit out of tune, uh, and you just need a tuner to help you get to that pitch, um, speed is, is the essence. There, you can see uh, it's hit it, hit, hit it there already. Let's just do a little, tweak it a little bit more. <laughs> there you go, it's coming. So this is a little bit slow. You can see by me doing that, it's a little bit slow. So basically, this is a perfectly good um, tuner. It's perfectly good. It's just a little bit slow. If you don't mind it being a little bit slow, this is a fantastic piece of kit. And this is, uh, it, it, this is less than a quarter of the price of this. Um, this is perfectly good piece of kit as well, but this is half the price of this, which is very interesting. The other thing about these two is that if you do play uh, and you have a daylight scenario, which happens to me sometimes, uh, they're very handy to have. But then, then there's another argument. Um, I had a conversation uh, with uh, um, a singer of our band who also plays guitar, um, about buffers very interesting he was saying that basically when you got a few effects like this and you know a wire pedal and you got some cable going from your guitar into this and then from the cables all going around here effects loops and all the other kind of stuff and then going to your amp or you know whichever configuration you have um the problem is you get a, a degradation in in your sound quality i.e what happens is is the top end of your guitar sound uh, when it gets to your amp, you, you, you lose that top end sparkle from your guitar. Now, some guitarists, especially of old, are not worried about you know losing that little bit of top end sparkle. What other purists, you know, perhaps they are. They you know they really they really miss it um, uh, from their sound. So what people do is they'll go and buy a buffer, uh, which probably costs uh, the same amount as what this would cost. You know, in some cases. So uh, which is very interesting. But what people, some people don't realise is that this Boss, and I think all Boss pedals, have a buffer built in. So, in that scenario, this is by far the better purchase than this and this, uh, because it has that buffer in. Um, maybe you knew that, maybe you, don't, you, you didn't know that, but you know, I just thought I'd bring that up, because it's a very interesting um very interesting you know subject so anyway you can hear the difference uh, it doesn't matter which boss pedal you have all boss pedals has this have this um have this buffer and you only need one boss pedal uh, at the beginning of the chain to to enable that uh buffer to be of effect uh to your rig your entire you know uh, floor pedal setup so hopefully um that's given you a little bit of food for thought where well, these are great but um, uh, visually, I think this is this is the best. This this uh, Mua is the best one. I think there's some others which are a little bit bigger, which do this kind of thing. But basically, wouldn't it be great to have something like this, which has this kind of display, but with a buffer built into it? Maybe Boss might come up with something. Maybe Korg already has it. I don't know. But anyway, so I can tell you right now that uh, even though I love this, uh, I'm I'm going to use I'm going to use this chromatic tuner because it's got the uh, the buffer built in. It makes my sound better, and basically that's the end of it. That is it. Okay, so that's tuners. Uh, pretty boring subject, but I made it slightly interesting, I hope. Anyway, if you like the video, subscribe, put some comments in the bottom, and I'll catch you later.